I disagree strongly with solving the money problem. Extremely strongly, in fact. I disagree with his claims that the new Biden administration's EV incentives, potentially $10,000 per vehicle, won't dramatically affect the Tesla share price. They will. And that is because Tesla is the manufacturer in pole position to take the biggest advantage of this opportunity. It appears as though the Biden administration's incentives will only be for US-made EV vehicles. I strongly agree with this decision if this is true. Now, if this happens, if this is officially announced within the next week, this will unquestionably affect the share price. But there are a range of other reasons why I believe you should invest in Tesla shares, and Morgan Stanley agrees with me. Morgan Stanley explains why Tesla stock is a must-own stock now, and this report comes to us from Maria at Teslarati. In a recent appearance at Bloomberg Markets, Morgan Stanley analyst Adam Jonas explained why Tesla is a must-own stock today. The analyst points listed some of Tesla's key advantages in the mobility sector, several of which have been highlighted by TSLA bulls over the years. The Bloomberg Markets host asked Jonas if there have been any fundamental changes in Tesla, considering that he gave TSLA an underperform rating over the summer. According to the Morgan Stanley analyst, investors right now are actually giving themselves more risk if they do not own any TSA LA stock. Now, I'm going to repeat that, guys. According to Jonas, investors right now are giving themselves more risk if they do not own TSLA stock. You can't avoid risk when you invest in the share market, but according to Jonas, you are making your position more risky unless you invest in Tesla. We think it's a must-own stock, and I say that because we frequently speak with investors that say, Adam, I want to put together a long-term EV or AV exposed portfolio, but I'll never own TSLA. We kind of take a deep breath and we say, well, then you run the risk of not owning the company that could make all the other stuff you do own completely obsolete, Jonas said, adding that owning TSLA is a bit like having insurance in the EV sector. The analyst highlighted that Tesla's significant lead in the electric vehicle segment is likely not going to be matched by competitors, at least for now. Jonas also noted that Tesla is currently being emulated by legacy auto companies. However, veteran car makers are still neck deep in the internal combustion engine, which could be a disadvantage. Could be. Unquestionably, it is a disadvantage. Just for analogy's sake, imagine you're a Kodak and you're making film equipment for analog film. All of a sudden, you decide you need to make digital equipment. How do you go about transitioning your entire company to making the new product? What kind of losses will you incur in the process? How hard will it be to retrain your staff? There are a huge number of reasons why traditional automakers are at a huge disadvantage to Tesla, obviously. He says, Tesla has zero internal combustion entanglement and is in a position to, you know, attract capital and talent perhaps more efficiently. Sure, there's lots of legacy companies. They're all, if you listen to what they're saying, they all sound like they're Tesla. And in many ways, they're frankly obsessed with Tesla. If you listen to 30 seconds of Volkswagen, a Volkswagen of GM, you'd think they didn't sell any internal combustion cars. It turns out they sell 98%, the Morgan Stanley analyst said. I love this comment from Jonas. Hilarious. Ultimately, Jonas emphasized that Tesla is currently at a point where it could really dial up its operations and become an infrastructure company that covers several key segments across the globe. If the company could pull this off, and history suggests that Tesla has a decent chance, then the EV maker may really grow into one of the market's most formidable companies, full stop. Full stop. It already is the market's most formidable company. I believe we already, the writing is already on the wall. We already know the end result. By 2030, Tesla will control a minimum of 20% of the worldwide automaker market. I believe now is the time to buy shares, not just because of what Jonas says, but because of what's going to happen over the next 10 years. Guys, thank you for watching. I've enjoyed bringing this article to you. By the way, I'm long TSLA. I do own shares in Tesla. 
I'm not a stock analyst, so take my words with a grain of salt. Thank you for listening. I'll see you on the next one.